A fresh version of Moodle does not mean that you also have to start fresh. You can migrate your course resources and activities between versions of Moodle by using the backup and restore features. The first step of this process is backing up your previous course materials. To get to the previous version of Moodle, press the old Moodle link at the top of Moodle. Once you've logged into the previous version of Moodle, open the course you'd like to back up and restore. In the administration block on the left side of the screen, press the backup link. You'll be shown a checklist of items to back up. The only options that are checked should be activities, blocks, and filters. Now press the next button at the bottom of the screen to continue. You will have a list of all the sections and activities in the course. You can uncheck sections and activities that you do not want to import. If you want to back up and restore an activity, you must also back up and restore the section that activity is in. You can import all your activities and resources and manually delete them after you've restored them in the course. Once you've made sure that everything you want to back up and restore has been checked, press Next to advance. At the top of the new page is the file name for the backup. You can customize this if you want, or you can leave it as is. It must end with the file type .mbz. Below this is a list of everything being backed up. You should see a check mark beside everything that you want to back up and red X's beside things you want to leave behind, such as user data. If you have missed any materials, you can scroll to the bottom and press the previous button. If everything you want to back up is checked, you can press the perform backup button. Moodle should let you know that the backup was successfully created. If you get an error message, you should start the process from the beginning. Press continue to advance. On the next page, there should be a list of the backup files created for your courses under the user private backup area. The top file should be the most recent backup that you've completed for your course. Press the download button to download your backup file to your computer. Once you have downloaded your course backup, you can return to the latest version of Moodle to begin the steps of restoring your course. Open your new course page. In the administration block on the left side of the screen, press the restore link. At the top of the page is a section for importing a backup file. You can find the backup file you downloaded on your computer and drag that file into the blue drag and drop arrow. Alternatively, you can press the choose a file button to open a window and find the file on your computer. Once you've added your file to the box, you will have to wait for the file to sync and for the green loading bar to disappear. Once that loading bar is gone, you can press the restore button. The next page will give you information about what is contained in the backup file. You can scroll to the bottom of the page and press continue. Now you have the option to import the materials by merging them with the materials already present in the course, or you can delete the materials that are in this course and then restore the backup file. Press the button for your preference and then press continue. Now you'll be able to select which types of materials you would like to import into your course. The four that should be checked at this point are activities and resources, blocks, filters, and groups and groupings. Press next to continue. Now you will be shown a list of all the activities and resources included in the backup. If you only want to restore some of these files, make sure that the activities and resources you want to import have check marks beside them. Once you have selected all the files you want to import, press the next button to continue. The next page will be a list of all the things that you have decided to import with green check marks beside them. Things that will not be imported will have a red X. Double check this list to make sure that all your correct activities and resources will be restored. If you need to make changes, press previous. If you do not need to make changes, press perform restore. You should then get a message from Moodle telling you that the restore was successfully completed. Pressing continue will take you to your course and all your restored course materials. If you get an error message, contact Moodle at upei.ca for assistance. And if you have any questions or need additional support with backing up and restoring your course materials, please contact Moodle at upei.ca for help.